a t-test examined whether a numeric variable differed between two categories. Another common statistical task is to test whether two numeric variables are related. For example, we might be interested in testing whether a car's weight affects its fuel efficiency. Just like we constructed a box plot before performing a two-sample test, we'll want to create a scatter plot before performing this test. So in this case, we can do that with ggplot, then the data, mt cars, then what we want on the x-axis, in this case, weight, and what we want on the y-axis, in this case, miles per gallon. Then we add the term for a scatter plot, which is geom underscore point. Parentheses, and we create our scatter plot. Immediately, you can see a negative relationship. A higher weight means a lower miles per gallon and therefore a lower fuel efficiency. This makes intuitive sense. A heavier car requires more fuel. But is it possible that this trend happened by chance? Maybe it just so happened that we, the cars we chose with heavier weights happened to have lower fuel efficiency and vice versa, even though there was no underlying relationship. To test that, we need more than a graph. We need to perform a statistical test. We're comparing two vectors here, the column describing the miles per gallon fuel efficiency of each car and the column describing the weight in pounds. Recall that we can access a single column using a dollar sign, empty cars, dollar sign, MPG for miles per gallon, and WT for weight. The simplest way to test for a relationship between two variables is with a correlation test. This can be done with a core.test function. So that's core.test, parentheses, and then MT cars dollar sign MPG, getting the miles per gallon vector, and the MT cars dollar sign WT, getting the weight vector from the correlation. You can see we, that just like the t-test, we produce a lot of information, so let's walk through it. Most notable is the p-value, seen here. This value reads as 1.294 times 10 to the power of negative 10. That's smaller than 1 out of a billion. This is the probability that the data would appear to be this strongly correlated by chance alone. The smaller the p-value, more significant the correlation, so here we can be very confident that a correlation exists. We can also find the estimate of the correlation coefficient here. This value varies from negative 1 to 1, where 1 represents a perfectly linear positive relationship, negative 1 represents a perfectly linear negative relationship. 0 would indicate the two values aren't correlated. These values can be extracted individually from a correlation test, just like they could from the t-test, by using the dollar sign. For example, let's save correlation test into ct, for correlation test equals, now CT contains the entire correlation test. We can extract the p-value by doing CT dollar sign p dot value. Similarly, we can extract the estimate by doing CT dollar sign estimate. And much like the t-test, we can get a confidence interval. See by in tab all the options we can extract. 